All right, guys. So welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro, and today we are talking about the first ever Pixel Experience Plus. And yes, this is a complete review. I've been using it since the last one one and a half day, and I've observed the battery life, the performance, and all the other things. So a lot of you guys have questions that how better is the battery life in this ROM? How better is the performance? What are the additional features? Now about the additional features, there'll be a side by side comparison video coming up in which I'll be comparing Pixel Experience Normal versus Pixel Experience Plus. So stay tuned for that. But for today's video, if you have it already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so let's see what we have here. This is Pixel Experience Plus, and as you can see, there are not many applications that are installed. I just have a game, BGMI, and a few benchmark applications that are installed. And the main motive of this video after reviewing Pixel Experiences is, is there anything better? Because on Android 12 or 12L or 12.1, whatever you're gonna call it, this is the first Pixel Experience Plus edition, and that is the reason we're gonna do a quick review about it. Now, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that you have a very, very basic clean Google pixel -esque layout to the left you have Google feed which in Android 12.1 on the Poco X3 Pro is butter smooth and it works completely as expected there are no stutters no jitters whatsoever now as I said the home screen is pretty basic you get a pixel experience launcher over here so if you press and hold on the home screen you will see that you have this new wallpaper chooser which looks very very fancy and it works fine now this is of course not a pixel experience plus feature this is Android 12.1 in action and it works absolutely fine the widgets are same as pixel experience home settings is similar to pixel experience if you swipe from the top to bottom you do get the same set of quick tiles although you do have have a few extra quick tiles over here for example you have a separate toggle for internet that is Wi-Fi and internet that is available in pixel experience plus apart from this if you see you have caffeine as an option which is available over here and uh, there was reading mode and heads up so these options are not available in the normal pixel experience but in pixel experience plus they are definitely present also if you talk about the volume slider over here you will see it has a very nice and neat fancy animation over here so this particular option or this particular look of the volume panel is not available in the normal pixel experience version it has a very very basic volume panel in pixel experience along with this if you press and hold the power button you will see that you have advanced reboot if you click on restart you get system recovery and bootloader you can also get screenshot and a few other options so this yet again is not something that you will find in the normal pixel experience but if i keep going on like this you know what would happen is the video that is going to come which is pixel experience versus pixel experience plus will not make any sense so let Let's not reveal all the secrets and let's talk about this particular ROM. So your first question is Pixel Experience Plus smoother than Pixel Experience? No, the smoothness is on par. Is it better in terms of performance compared to Pixel Experience? No, the Plus Edition and the Pixel Experience Edition have the same performance. And the last question that you have, does it have a ton of extra features? Not exactly a ton of extra features, but there are you know, five to six different options in which you will find some more value in the plus edition if you, you know, like those features and stuff like that. But apart from this, you know, if we go to the about section and we click on Android version, you will see it is the same April security patch with the same perf kernel and everything is almost similar. Now you do get unlimited storage with Google Photos and all the other goodies that you get in Pixel Experience. Even the multitasking menu is very fluid. I'm really amazed how smooth and fluid this particular ROM is running on Pixel Experience or Pixel Experience Plus. So, you know, not really getting into the complete details of the features that are on offer. We will first go ahead and talk about the performance numbers and then we will come to battery life because these are two important questions that you guys have asked me and let's go ahead and answer them. So first things first question about performance. Let's go ahead and have a look at the CPU throttle test. So as you can see over here, this is Pixel Experience 93% throttling. This is Pixel Experience Plus 91% throttling. So not major difference when it comes to Pixel Experience versus Pixel Experience Plus. This is within the margin of error. The performance is more or less the same. Even if you go to Antutu benchmark, you will notice over here that 588, 720, it's almost exactly the same score that we got on Pixel Experience. If we actually go to Geekbench and let's check the single core and multi-core, very, very similar scores over here. 
So no, Pixel Experience versus Pixel Experience Plus, the performance difference is not huge. Only difference that you can find is the features. Now, another question that I had is, is the battery life better? So if you look at the battery life now, you know, you have optimization profiles and all these options, but the battery backup has been pretty similar. This is the Poco X3 Pro, which comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which means you will easily get eight to nine hours of screen on time. And if you're an extremely heavy user, you will still get four to five hours of screen on time. The charging speeds on this ROM are very similar to Pixel Experience. So all in all, if you ask me, should you install Pixel Experience? experience or pixel experience plus i would say go with pixel experience plus because this is everything that you get with pixel experience which is already amazing plus it has a few goodies in which you know you will come to know all the details once i release that particular video in which everything has been mentioned so all in all if you ask me pixel experience plus is a value added very good rom for day-to-day -day usage it is not a hardcore performing rom but you can definitely use it as a daily driver you have safety net you have wideman l1 certification so there are no major issues here there are no major things that are missing you can of course go ahead and install gcam with beautiful xml's which will allow you to take good pictures face unlock works, fingerprint unlock works, all these things that I've covered in the complete review of Pixel Experience apply to this particular ROM as well. Now, without making this video very, very long, I will tell you Project Arcana, Derpfest, a ton of custom ROMs that have been released for the Poco X3 Pro, including Project Elixir. All of them will be reviewed one by one. Now that we are in this new space and we are making videos back to back, you will have three uploads every single day coming to your way very, very soon. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops.